So far, we have talked about dominant strategy implementation. This is a strong implementation concept, but not the only one. Today we will introduce one of the other implementation concepts called Bayesian implementation. As with dominant strategy implementation, we define this new concept within the framework that we call the general model. In particular, this framework is defined in terms of a set of agents, a set of types for every agent, an arbitrary set of outcomes that we are choosing among, coupled with a social choice function which I did not write down, and a common prior belief over type profiles shared by all agents. One thing I forgot is agents utility functions that map outcomes and type profiles into utility values. With Bayesian implementation, we take an interim perspective rather than an exposed perspective in case of dominant strategy implementation, meaning that we now have to keep track of the beliefs that every type of every player has about other players' types. To that end, we assume that all players start with a common prior belief over type profiles and then employ Bayes' rule to update this belief once they observe their own type. In particular, Bayes' rule says that the probability phi that player i assigns to the profile of other players' types theta minus i, given his own type theta i, is given by the ratio of the joint probability of types theta i and theta minus i occurring simultaneously and the total probability of type theta i occurring, which is given by the integral of the PDF phi of theta over all possible profiles of other players' types theta minus i tilde. Now that we have defined the setting we work in, the next step towards introducing an implementation concept is introducing the equilibrium concept that will be used in this implementation concept. The equilibrium concept we will be using here is Bayes-Nash equilibrium. This equilibrium is composed by a strategy profile A star, where each player's strategy maps their types into their action set, which is prescribed by the mechanism. And this strategy profile is such that every type of every player must find it optimal to play the equilibrium action, rather than any other action. The utility here comes from the outcome implemented following a given action profile, according to the outcome function g, which is specified as a part of the mechanism. The agent's decision criterion that we employ here is expected utility, where the expectation is taken over other players' types theta minus i, which are not known to agent i when he selects an action, and the expectation is taken with respect to agent i's belief that we have just seen. Now that we have our equilibrium concept, we can introduce the implementation concept. We will say that mechanism gamma implements social choice function f in Bayes-Nash equilibrium, if the game induced by mechanism gamma has a Bayes-Nash equilibrium that leads to the same outcome as the one prescribed by f for any type profile theta. We will then say that a social choice function f is implementable in Bayes-Nash equilibrium, if there exists some mechanism gamma that implements it in Bayes-Nash equilibrium. To clarify, the first definition here has to do whether a given mechanism gamma implements a given social choice function, while the second definition asks whether there is any mechanism gamma that implements this given social choice function. Now that we have introduced our new implementation concept, we can also restate the revelation principle for Bayesian mechanisms. The first definition on this path is that of truthful implementation. In particular, we will call a given social choice function truthfully implementable in Bayes-Nash equilibrium, or as we will call it more often, Bayesian incentive compatible, if it is implemented in Bayes-Nash equilibrium by a direct revelation mechanism meaning that truthful reporting is a Bayes-Nash equilibrium of the direct revelation mechanism for this social choice function. In other words, social choice function f is Bayesian incentive compatible if the following condition holds.
for all players and their types, the expected utility from reporting own type truthfully to the mechanism is at least as large as from any possible misreport. Now we can state the revelation principle. Its statement is analogous to the revelation principle for dominant strategies and incompatible mechanisms. It says that if some social choice function f is implemented by some mechanism gamma in Bayes Nash equilibrium, then it can also be implemented in Bayes Nash equilibrium by a direct mechanism. The proof of this statement is completely analogous to the proof for dominant strategies and consists of showing that if Bayesian incentive compatibility constraints are satisfied for some mechanism, then they would also be satisfied for a direct mechanism. We will therefore not go through this proof in detail.